Hi, my name is Laurie Chamberlain and I'm the founder of Balance Relaxation Therapy and the creator of Intention Bracelets. And today I'd like to introduce you to Red Jasper. Red Jasper is all about physical strength, vitality and energy balance. So if you happen to be one of those people who goes, 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 goes and then find yourself flat out exhausted, this bracelet's good for you. Red Jasper embodies the element of Earth and like Earth, it helps to reduce that fluctuation in energy, the spikes high and low, and helps you find more stability and balance. So intention bracelets work with intention and a couple examples of intention that work well with Red Jasper is I am strong and stable. I am strong and stable. Or another one I like to use is, I am safe and sound. I am safe and sound. So the way you use an intention bracelet is, there are uh, three gemstones, one bigger one and two smaller ones. I'm just gonna move in so you can see this a bit better. So there we go. And the way you use an intention bracelet is you start your meditation practice at the bead right after the bigger bead and you say your intention and then you move on to the next bead and say the intention again and again and again using the wooden beads as counters and you go all the way around until you get back to the bigger bead and then you say thank you. Know you've already set your intention in motion. So why don't we do an intention practice together? An intention practice includes just a couple of simple postures, a breathing practice, and then the intention meditation using your bracelet. All of it's designed to help you feel more solid and stable. So let's do it. If you don't have an intention bracelet, it's totally fine. You can still do this practice. And if you want to get an intention bracelet, you can find out how in the video description right below. Coming to hands and knees. Wrists directly underneath the shoulders and knees directly underneath the hips. And take a moment to feel the earth underneath your hands and knees and feet connecting. Solid and steady. Inhaling into the base of the spine and exhaling out through the palms and the knees and the feet, anywhere that's in contact with earth. We'll do that a few times. Neck is in line with the spine and your core is strong here. Elbows soft. Breathing in to the base of the spine and out through the palms, the knees, the tops of the feet. Now engaging your core, extend through your left leg. Foot is flexed and the leg comes up to hip height, keeping both hips pointing down towards earth and extending through your right arm. So right arm, left leg, and feel the strength of your core. And then come back down, feeling the stability of all four, the hands and the knees and the feet connected with earth, feeling that stability. Remember that this intention practice using Red Jasper is all about vitality, stability and energy balance and physical strength. And let's go to the other side now. So this time the right leg extends and left arm extends. Let me move back. <laughs> ah, <laughs> tight spaces. Good, so foot flexed, fingers pointed, gaze is down at your mat. Imagine looking right into the core of the earth, nice and steady. Feeling that core and your inner strength your physical strength, really feeling into the body. That's what earth is all about, embodying yourself. 
Beautiful. And then come down once again, feeling that stability of the two hands, the knees and the tops of the feet connecting with earth. Inhaling into the base of the spine, exhaling through the palms, through the knees, through the tops of the feet. And then let's come to sitting. Oh, and if you prefer, you can sit in a chair. If you're sitting on the ground, perhaps bring a cushion so you can sit up on the edge of the cushion. It's just more comfortable. One foot in front of the other instead of the feet being crossed over. And let your hands rest anywhere they're comfortable. So we're going into our breathing practice now. You can use a mudra if you like. More on mudras in another video. Two fingers, peace fingers pointing down to earth and just touching the ground with those two fingers. So come to the breath. As you inhale, the belly expands. And as you exhale, the belly softens back towards the spine. And the exhale becomes just a little bit longer than the inhale. And there's a slight pause at the end of the exhale. Let's do that a few times and closing the eyes. Inhale through the nose, belly expands. Spine is long and relaxed. On the exhales, imagine breathing out through the tailbone down into earth. If the mudra hand gesture isn't feeling right, just let your hands rest on your thighs. You decide. A few more breaths. Belly expands on the inhale, softens back towards the spine on the exhale, breathing down as if you're rooting down to earth through the sitting bones. Exhale is just slightly longer and notice the pause at the end of the exhale. Three more just like that. Nice. And let's do our intention meditation now. And let's use I am safe and sound. I am safe and sound. Starting at that bead, first um, gemstone bead right after the bigger one. And I'm just going to say this out loud, but you can say it out louder to yourself. Just depends on how you feel. So let go of the breath. It just becomes natural. I am safe and sound. 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 We'll continue in silence until we get back to the big bead. When you feel that you're back to that bigger bead, saying thank you silently to yourself, knowing your intention is already coming to fruition. Words have power. I hope you enjoyed that intention practice with Red Jasper and stay tuned for meditations and short practices with the other bracelets. Again, if you need to get yourself a bracelet, you can find that link in the video description below. Bye for now.